got our Kong here fired up to about 250 degrees, pretty darn warm. Got our fun gloves on and uh, it's about time to do some work with that turkey. When I spash cock a bird, I love building a bed of herbs and citrus, laying the bird directly on that and grilling it. And that's what we're gonna do. Take um, about two parts salt to about one to two parts herbs, mix it together, rub it on the turkey, and you can do that one to three days in advance. Overnight works as well. You come into the grill and you're just gonna basically layer out your citrus, add a little more flavor, and I'll tell you, since this hits the grill, man, you'll smell it and you'll know what I'm talking about. Centered as we can, I've got the wings folded under, I've got the thighs kind of laid out nice, and this is a good time to kind of arrange your skin, right? Stretch it out because it's, it's going to kind of pull back on you just a little bit. Give it a really solid coat there. And once you do that, it allows your seasonings to stick. I'm using just some Italian seasoning. And just give it a light coat because we may come back and do this a couple times before it's all said and done. Montreal chicken seasoning. I'm just going to give it a light coat here. We're going to see what it's going to do on this turkey today and the proof will be in the pudding. The five minutes it takes you to remove the backbone and flatten it out save you uh, easily you know, 45 minutes on the end cook time. A spatchcock bird will cook faster even at a lower temperature. Now you'll notice the colors really start to come along on this bird and we'll get some close-up shots that here in just a minute. So let's, uh, let's check the doneness. It's certainly done. Uh, I mean it's it's hot. Mm. It's super, super, super juicy. And that's the beauty of dry brining. That osmosis process that happens with that salt, it changes everything. It's so good. Check us out on Facebook, at GorillaGrills.com. Same on Twitter, at GorillaGrills. Tweet us, Facebook us, ask us questions. We'll get you the information. And it may end up in a video much like this right here. I'm Shane Draper. I'm the Pitmaster for Gorilla Grills. Thanks for checking us out.